All right. Uh, let me show you. Let me show you this strategy. It's uh it's pretty good. Nah. It's a lot of money at risk. <clears throat> it's fifteen hundred dollars at risk. Alright. It's a lot. But you only risk in one combination of the dice, okay? So it's not all that bad. Meaning you only got a two percent chance of losing that. Alright. <clears throat> and uh even less if you set your dice two two facing you, you know, up face face the two two up, you know, straight up. And when you throw it, you release. When you release, <clears throat> twist your wrist just a little bit to the left. And uh, one of them twos, if not both of them, are going to get knocked off axis. So <clears throat> don't don't even worry about hitting them two twos, man. It's uh, very unlikely. And if it does, I mean, be prepared to lose $2,000, right? <clears throat> well, not $2,000, 1500 basically actually 1600 but anyways you lay <clears throat> the four for 1500 you hop the well, the one three for 100 that'll cover see there's two combinations to make the one three that's why we're not doing the hard way four okay we're we're uh, hedging it <clears throat> with the hop you hop it for a hundred it'll cover you for 1500 and even really you can you can hop it for 101 that way, uh, if you do hit it, you get a little fifteen dollar profit instead of just breaking even. That's what I would do. Just hop it for an extra dollar, just in case, you know. Uh, but anyways, you hop the one three for a hundred and one dollars, and then uh, put you a little fire bet down, you know, just in case, just in case, you know. You never know. Uh. <clears throat> And then uh, you want to put a hundred dollar pass line. That'll cover. That'll cover your uh, hot bet. You know, say you hit a seven or whatever, right there. I mean, you're good. Now you'll lose the pass line right here. At the start, you'll lose it <clears throat> if uh, if a crap number hits. But that's okay. Because after the Three, initial crap. first roll, Three, come again and pay the field. you got that covered with the field. So you only got to go past one roll 12, to risk that $100. 12. And more than likely, you're going to probably hit that seven instead of a crap number. But, I mean, if you don't want to risk that $100, just uh, put, a pass, put a pass line and a don't pass up for 100 bucks, <laughs> And then after the uh, come out roll, take your don't pass down. Okay. So, but you you can put a hundred dollar pass line and a hundred dollar don't pass at the same time. Make sure you, make sure you only do this when you're rolling. By the way, do not do not ever risk this much money on somebody else. Okay, never. I I did it one time. <laughs> I tell you what, I went I went to a casino in Illinois. Right, I forgot what it was called, but you couldn't even smoke in there. But anyways. You know, I was in a hurry. I had to head home because I just got off the boat. I had to head home, but I was like, eh, I'll stop by the casino real quick. You know, I had some cash. I had about, eh, I'd say close to $2,300 with me, right? I was like, all right, well, let's go. Let's go uh, make some money real quick because before I'd went on the boat, I'd went to Tunica. You know, it's close to where I live. I'd went to Tunica for about 15 minutes. It was a two-hour drive just about. Stayed there for 15 minutes, made about 500 bucks and left, you know, just quick cash. So, anyways, I was like, ah, I could do that real quick, you know, before I head home, because that casino was right there. Well, I mean, this casino, this craps table was packed, and it was a damn, it was a damn, uh, I think it was a $25, $25 freaking minimum bet. And I usually play on $5 in Tunica. I play $5 minimum table. So that was kind of you know, kind of threw me off balance a little bit. And then on top of, I couldn't even smoke in there. So I was on edge and the table was packed. I don't like playing at packed tables. I usually like to play first thing early in the morning so I could be by myself. Right. Cause I mean, I want to roll, you know, I don't trust this strategy with other people. 
And here's why, because I'd wait in about 20 minutes, still hadn't, still hadn't even made it halfway around the table to me. So I was like, man, I got to be on the road. So put all that money out there, and I'll be damned. I'll be damned the very first fucking roll. Hard four. I said, son of a bitch, you got to be shitting me. Right? So I was like, okay, well, you know, I still got some money. You know, I'll, I'll play catch up. You know, I use the same strategy again, just with a little less money, right? Just kind of broke it down a little bit, you know. <clears throat> and I'll be damned if this motherfucker, the very next roll, rolls a hard four again. Basically wiped me out. Basically. I mean, I had like $600 left, if that. You know, I was done, man. I was done. I was pissed. I was done. And I swore I'd never do that again, okay? Never trust somebody else rolling with that amount of money, ever. But anyways, here's a strategy. Enough of my story. Uh, hopefully you've been paying attention to it. Uh, I'll, I'll explain it a little bit. All right, you got a $100 hop, the one three. $100 pass line. Okay, then you got a $200 of course, you break it down to what? 190, 198, I think. Yeah, 198.6, 198.8, and then a 175.5. Okay. Now, after your come out roll, right? Say you say you hit a point of an eight or a six nine, or a five. Nine. Regardless, any any of them. Six. Easy six. Okay. Take your place bet Ten. down. Just use your uh, pass line to cover that. You know that hundred dollars. Uh, if that if that number hits, that hundred dollars will cover that hot bet. So take your place bet down and cover the nine and the ten with it. You know, buy your nine and ten for what? You don't even have to buy them for a hundred dollars a piece to cover. You know, to cover that hot bet, cover cover it for a little bit less, right? So now you got all numbers covered. Every one of them. Because you got your field bet up. That's covering all the crap numbers. Uh, you know. All the field numbers. Plus you got your 910 up. That's covering, you know, your... your, And then you got your 9, 10, 8, 6, and 5 up. That's covering all your place bets. <coughs> Plus you got a field bet covering all your field. 